Hello everyone, I'm Dale Parks from Cooper Lang Solution Spec Team here in Toronto and today I'm going to talk to you about Wavelengths Light. So, where does Wavelengths Light fit into our connected lighting systems? In terms of scalability, Wavelengths Light is the next step from a simple standalone uh, solutions that eventually expands from there to full Trellix enterprise solutions with 45,000 devices. So what is Wavelengths Light? Well, it is designed to be, as the name implies, light. It is, a, it is an intuitive mobile application, and what we're doing is laying the foundation as an entry point into the Wavelengths Light wireless architecture. Wavelengths Light is designed to be streamlined. It is designed to give you the capabilities you need for setting up and customizing a system for basic energy code compliance. Now, I don't mean every energy code everywhere, but it does mean for general run-of-the-mill applications, Wavelengths Light is intended to satisfy those basic needs. Second, Wavelengths Light application utilizes an internet connection to your Trellix Secure cloud portal. This cloud portal is used to register the user account, create project sites, backup project site data, transfer ownership of project sites, and enable access to system and device upgrades. The cloud portal is not used for commissioning the system or for the system operation. That is all accomplished with the Wavelengths Light application directly in the space. And finally, the Wavelengths Light uses the IEEE 802.15.1 low energy protocol, otherwise known as Bluetooth, and we use that as the communications medium between the mobile app and the various devices in the Wavelinks light system. So here you can see that those devices uh, include inter uh, integrated sensors, that could mean um, towel mounted sensors, and that could also mean, uh, could also mean wall stations as well. So, why did we create Wavelinks Light and where does it fit? Customers love the idea of standalone controls, but when customization is needed, today's solutions are, well, quite frankly, frustrating. Those, those typical standalone components, and I mean sensors, you may recognize our catalog nomenclature here, offer autonomous integrated fixture operation. Each fixture responds independently to motion and daylight and is customized individually with tools like infrared remotes. There are no grouping capabilities, so individual performance is really all you get. Wavelengths Light, on the other hand, provides that level of performance, but rather than customize device by device with an IR remote, Wavelengths Light again uses a mobile application from your smart device to form a Bluetooth mesh network. This network allows not only for configuration, but formation of areas, zones, occupancy sets and daylighting. So Wavelinks Light blends the simplicity of a standalone system with the usability of a connected system and can be easily configured and again with a better exceptional user experience. Let's take a look at the Wavelinks Light in terms of its system specifications. I'm going to start down here in the bottom left corner. There is a new term that I spoke about earlier, and that is project site that is specific to Wavelinks Light. Once we initiate our project site, that gives us the capability to have up to 28 areas in that project site. An area is a space with devices that are going to act together. Now that could mean a conference room, that could be a classroom, that could be a floor of a parking garage. It could also mean an open office space. In any area, you have up to 50 devices. We say best practice is 40 devices. We never want to load a system. We never fully load an area. And by the way, an area is considered to be a network. These are devices that are working together, mesh communications working together to accomplish a common goal. You may have up to 16 zones of control groups in an area, up to six occupancy sets per area, and you may establish up to seven custom defined scenes per area. Wavelengths Light is a wireless system and you have to be able to speak to other devices in a network. So we say up to 100 feet or 30 meters line of sight distance between devices. So we're thinking spaces that have fairly dense network of devices. And again, because 
The more devices a particular device can communicate with, the more robust and reliable the communication. And quite frankly, the shorter latency, everything responds together more quickly. Now, in terms of features, I'm only going to pick a few here. Integrated closed loop photocell for daylight harvesting and also occupancy detection through passive infrared. So our premise now is based for contractor for speed of installation and capability to install a luminaire, uh, a luminaire uh, with occupancy and daylighting at the same time they install the basic lighting capability. Pre-configured full programmable wall stations. So as soon as they join that area, they offer out of the box functionality and fully programmable with the Wavelinks Light app. Occupancy and vacancy are available and high end, high and low end trim are also available in response to energy code requirements. Let's take a closer look at two applications. One is an outdoor space or a parking garage, and the second is an indoor space, could be an office or, or an education facility. Here's the level of a parking garage deck utilizing our top tier luminaires with Wavelinks Light integrated sensors. The project site is a six floor parking deck. Notice that this floor is one area with less than 50 devices. Within this area, there are five different occupancy sets, six max per site. Uh, They're all intelligent occupancy groups within the area. Notice the bi-directional markers on each of these luminaires. That's an indication of the self-healing mesh network. For example, if one of these fixtures becomes non-operational, if it gets damaged or it loses power, the network is smart enough that it finds itself a workaround, that damaged fixture, to re-establish communication. Now, specifically in the parking garage application, as I said, the top tier and the galleon families are utilized. These utilize the Zaga 4-pin Book 18 sockets. This is the second generation sensor, which provides dual radio functionality to work with Wavelinks Light applications. The catalog logic of the new Wavelinks Light sensor uses the new three character nomenclature, WOB for low mounting and WOF for high mounting applications. Let's look at things a little differently. This indoor space here is a multi-story building. This could be an office or a school, so the project site is the floor. We have nine areas, one per room. We have occupancy sets and daylighting and some of the areas as well. So we have both recessed ambient, interior architectural products with Wavelinks Light integrated sensors in addition, and this is something new that we have recessed downlighting controlled by Wavelinks Light tile mounted sensors, and of course, Wavelinks Light wall stations. Now, if we look at the products used in the previous example, Wavelinks Light utilizes the WAB sensor for ambient applications. And of course, as I had mentioned before, the newest product is the towel mounted sensor. Just a quick note on Wavelinks Light wall station configurations. They're available in, in three line voltage, 120 to 277 volts, 50 to 60 Hertz configurations, neutral requirement three white hardwire alternatives, a three button, a three button with raise lower, and a five button with raise lower. And of course, a standard standard generic engravings, but also custom engraving is also available for the wall stations uh, through our online configuration tool. Currently, there are 12 ambient product families available with Wavelinks Light, as well as a number of our architectural brands. We are launching very soon with our industrial lighting products with Wavelinks Light, so stay tuned for that announcement. In terms of resources available to you, uh, we have updated our product selection guides to include Wavelinks Light. The control supplements, CSI boilerplate specifications are all updated to include Wavelinks Light applications today. And finally, we do have a testimonial and a case study on the Wavelinks Light landing page. The, the Lovett School in Atlanta, Georgia was the first par parking garage installation for Wavelinks Light. This, this three-level parking structure has been in operation since early 2020. The staff electrician actually conducted the, the provisioning and the configuration on site using the Wavelinks Light app. And we'll be adding 
to the list of more sites as they are brought online. So I wanted to leave you with this final thought that Wavelinks Light is simple, secure, scalable. As always, remember to reach out to your local spec team and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button on our YouTube channel so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.